Alright guys, back with another video. This one will, uh, sh this is going to be a how-to on how to remove memory and RAM from your laptop. Not that many people know, like if your com computer crashes or if you want to upgrade some more memory, this is the way to do it. So pretty much, flip your laptop over. Uh, let's see. I personally make it a habit of just taking out the uh, the battery, just in case, because I really don't need it. Um, but like on my computer right now, it actually has a little icon that shows me where the hard drive is, and two little bolts holding it. Same goes for the memory. So let me go ahead and take out the hard drive, and pretty much all you have to do is have a, a fine point uh, Phillips uh, head screwdriver. That's pretty much it. Uh, on most cases. So let's just go ahead and screw it real quick. And pretty much, there's your hard drive. Uh, nothing much to it. Uh, the SATA hard drives are pretty much going to be the same way as the IDE installation wise. Uh, but for the IDE, just pretty much, see how mine has a little latch on it? Just pretty much pull it. And there come, there's a hard drive for you. That's pretty much it. As you can see, hard drive, and it's uh, this one's a Fuji, Fujitsu, sorry, Fujitsu 80 gig hard drive, uh, IDE. It's the one that originally came with my laptop. And pretty much, all you have to do is usually when you buy the IDE drive, just take out these bolts right there. There's four of them, one there, one there, and then one on each other side. Uh, this is just pretty much a bracket to hold it in its place and makes it easier for you to take it, the hard drive out if the next one fails or if you want to upgrade. Um, the way you put it back in is just pretty much opposite way of you pull, the way you pull it out. Just put it like that and just pretty much press down on it. And that's pretty much it on that part. Um, just going to put this back on. Next part is your memory. Like, I'm going to open up mine. There's pretty much a RAM. As you can see, there's one stick, and then the other stick is right, be right below it. Um, the way you remove it is there's two little clamps, one right there and then one right there, and all you have to do is just push them apart, just pretty much the opposite side, opposite way, and the memory pops up by itself. There it is. Uh, the second uh, memory is the same way. Uh, this is pretty much a gig and a half of of memory. This is a gig stick of G skill memory, which I upgraded myself. Uh, and that's just a half a stick that came with the machine itself. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the way you put it in, you just pretty much you have to angle it like this, and then just pretty much push down on it until you hear the clamp. And that's pretty much it. All you have to do then is just set it back in, like so. Bolt it back up. Uh, and that's pretty much it on that part. You just have to make sure how much memory your computer can take. Like mine can go up to two gigs, max, uh, being about four years old, uh, or three years old, sorry. Um, other than that, just put your battery back in, and then when you turn it back on, let's see if I can angle this thing. see. There you go, it's loading Windows XP. Um, and that will pretty much conclude the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, leave me uh, comments, 
so subscribe to it and see you guys later.